carefully like this okay and now uh, there, are, there are quite a lot of oil droplets in the chamber and you will see this later on on, a, on, on this clip we supply additionally which is recorded uh, by the software uh, now you can only see what I'm doing uh, to perform the measurement first of all we have to find the right oil droplet and uh, at the moment uh, they are falling down just under the influence of gravity and uh, now uh, you have to look for a, for a droplet which is falling within a time of around 10 to 20 seconds. For this purpose we define two marks on the scale which is inside of the eyepiece and uh, we have to, uh, if, applic if applicable, we have to uh, correct the focus and switch on the voltage. And ah, okay, now we have to also to reverse the polarity because when I switched on the voltage, the oil droplet was uh, moved downwards, but we want to have the oil droplet to move. Uh, uh, upwards, so this means uh, this means uh, opposite to the direction of the force of gravity, of course. And uh, now I try some voltages here. I switched on the uh, voltage uh, using this switch here, and with uh, this uh, knob. I can increase and decrease the voltage and try to control the particle. Okay, and now we have found a sweet little droplet, which I now caught near the five millimeter mark. So, I adjusted the voltage in a way that uh, that it is uh, that the force in the electric field and the force of gravity is almost balanced out. Now you can see it's here near the five millimeter mark, and uh, when I switch off the voltage, it is falling down. Now I switch on the voltage and adjust the value so that it is moving upwards with almost the same velocity as it is moving downwards. So now it is passing the 6 millimeter mark and I will... I have to first stop the time measurement from the first measurement and reset the values. Okay, now I move it upwards again and uh, now we have to wait that it, uh, until it is passing the 6 millimeter mark. I switch off the voltage now. And now when passing the 6 millimeter mark again, I switch on the time measurement. It's the falling time. And when it is passing the 4 millimeter mark, I switch on the voltage and leave the time measurement on. So it switches automatically to the rise time, the measurement of the rise time. And when it passes the 6 millimeter mark, I switch off the voltage simply and the time measurement and uh, in principle that's the measurement and the uh, voltage is indicated as previous voltage in the display and now I could measure uh, this particle, this oil droplet uh, several times and uh, measure the fall and rise time several times and maybe uh, calculate some mean values to improve the accuracy.